obstacles that are blocking you from leading the life you truly want to live? If so, this is the week to do something about it because we are now entering the fourth week of the Omer, the week of Netzach. And Netzach is all about that energy of breaking through barriers. The person we say represents Netzach in our tradition is Moses. And Moses, despite the text saying that he was the most humble man to ever live, was also an absolute force to be reckoned with. Moses did not allow things to get in his way. And the story that comes to mind first is when Korah and his followers come up and rebel against the leadership of himself and Aaron. He literally has the earth swallow up its mouth, open up its mouth and swallow them alive. That's the Netzach response. Say, so you're going to try to block me? Good luck. I'm going to go through whatever you bring. And the story that comes to mind when I think about this is a couple months back, I had the, the privilege of being a volunteer crew member at Tony Robbins Business Mastery. And the last day, he, Tony brought in different people and interviewed them on stage to give examples of different ways to go about business. And the third person he interviewed was Martin Rothblatt, the creator of Sirius Digital Radio. And I thought that was already a pretty huge accomplishment. And there were so many barriers that Martin had to go through in order to launch digital radio, a whole new, new realm, a whole new technology. But what really got me is that a little while after Sirius was out there, it was doing well, Martin was successful, Martin's daughter was diagnosed with a terminal condition and was given only a few years to live. And Martin said, no way, this is taking my daughter, and went out there and found a drug that had been once researched, but it had been shelved because it didn't actually cure the thing it was meant to be curing, but found that, wow, this, this drug actually had a side effect that would actually be perfect for Martine's daughter. But the drug had never been fully, fully put into production. It was just in the, in the trial phases, and Martine didn't have a medical background. So this drug company wasn't about to be you know, giving over the, the rights to this drug to somebody who was just an engineer. But you know, Martine's like, well, there's a problem here. There's got to be a solution. And just through absolute force of will, went, got this drug created, and wound up saving, saving the daughter and saving thousands of other people who had similar conditions. In fact, the, the drug company was saying, well, there's not enough market for this drug because there's so few people with this condition. The reason was they all died. Once Martin was able to get this drug to the market, they all lived and kept buying the drug and kept buying the drug and built a huge drug company because there was a problem and Martin needed to find the solution. And Martin went on to talk about then other problems and other problems and other problems that humanity is facing and all the solutions being worked on to be hitting that. So Martina has, has created a technology to take lung transplants and lungs out of dead people and actually revive them so they can be transplanted into people who need lung transplants. Martina is working on the electric helicopter to be transporting these, um, these organs to making sure they reach more people in time. And as we went through, there's just problem after problem after problem facing humanity, Martin was like, and this is the solution I'm working on for that. And this is the solution that I'm working on for that. And you saw that everything that Martin was facing was every barrier was really an opportunity hidden in there. In fact, Tony, who was giving the, the interview, you know, I was just listening to him yesterday, and he pointed out when, whenever he comes up to an obstacle where he says, wow, I can't do this, then he flips it around. He says, ah, if I can't do it, then I must. If I think this barrier is something insurmountable, then I must go through it because that's the way I'm going to be growing. Every time there's a barrier that is just completely blocking my way and wow, this is just beyond my capabilities. Well, you know what? The way I grow my capabilities is to go through it. So if I can't do something, I must do it. And that is the energy of this week, this week of Netzach. It's all about going through barriers. Finding what are those obstacles that are holding you back? You know what? The place you're going to grow the most is on the other side. So if there's something getting in your way, this is the week to really gear yourself up and break through it.